Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video with the Rival MT8. Thought I'd bring it here, take a couple of little bit bigger jumps, have some good times with it, because I have absolutely been loving this truck. It rips, it's been fun to drive, it's a pleasure to drive, and don't get me wrong guys, there's a couple of minor issues. I, should... I got a lot of bounce when I jump. The motor runs a little bit hot with the current setup. I've got a big KC RC fan and fan mount on the truck, which has definitely been helping. Uh, the other issue that I have, well, it kind of comes with my shocks and the bouncing of the truck. I joined the RC8, or the uh, Rival MT8 group. I don't know what an RC8 is. Oh, my radio. No, I don't know. Anyways, um, they've been kind of talking about some of the issues with the shocks and ways to fix it. So kind of putting a third hole in the piston so that the shock can kind of compress better. Because I guess what happens when you start doing big jumps, you can actually blow out the shock. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but we're here, we're gonna have some fun. Because again, guys, I have, I'm loving this truck. I have been driving it so much. because it's just a lot of fun to drive. I think I said it in one of my last videos. It's kind of like a Max, but fun. It handles better. It's more durable. It just looks better. It's just an overall better truck. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now I do feel like I should probably move the ramp back a bit because I th think I'm going to be missing that down slope. Yeah, we're going to move it back a little bit. Again, guys, I've got the ramp. I've kept it at this lower position now. I think I'm three down from the top. And so it gives me kind of a little bit more distance. But uh, just not as much height. Oh, she moves. And for those that ask about the sandbags, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Even though, <laughs> it's just funny I say that because there's a ton of sand over there. But um, not that I would steal people's sand. I am going to get around to doing that guys at some point. I will. Because it's the one thing about coming here, because this is kind of my spot for doing my bigger jumps, but yet my ramp is always all over the place. So that's the one issue. Nice. Oh, ah. And like I mentioned guys, in every video, this thing never wants to land on its tires. Now I do have wheel wideners that I haven't installed yet. Not sure how they're gonna help or if they'll help. But at some point guys, we're gonna get to installing those mods, but the truck's just been holding up great. I haven't needed to install anything yet. down on the chassis. Thank you. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, jeez. Nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to land on a slope. I'm not getting the same kind of bounce. Oh, oh bummer. I swear it was kind of resting on one tire in the wheelie bar there. Yeah, landing on that slope keeps me from bouncing so much. Oh, come on, come on, there we go. <laughs> that right there that's my I've definitely guys got to work on that not sure where I'm going of letting the truck sort of do its thing there i'm not doing a whole lot of air control i'm just kind of i get the back flip going and then i sort of just let it go now it's funny i gotta i feel like i sort of need to not break the truck today because you guys don't know and i think i've talked about it before in videos i usually just come out and kind of run them i record i do all that fun stuff because i'm usually just out i would be out doing this anyways um i just bring a gopro with me for footage and grab videos and stuff but usually the start and the stop of the video, let's say if I'm at home and I'm talking about something or I made a change, that usually comes like weeks after I've actually done the run. So a few times I get out with the truck and I break something and I change it and then I realize, oh geez, I got videos where the truck was kind of in stock form and uh, now I've got to try to do some type of intro with a truck that is no longer looking the way it did in the video. That's just me being super unorganized, I guess. And again, I still, guys, I think, I'm pretty sure I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I wanted to kind of come out with the drone. So I may, you can bypass that. And I don't plan on going high, obviously, guys, not even close, so. Oh, that was a beauty. That was a beauty. Freaking beauty, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man, oh, man. You know, I feel like I'm gonna become that negative Nancy channel because I'm always gonna be complaining about influencers and you guys know who I'm talking about. Because this thing's an absolute blast. And you know what? I'll, I'll let the guys that got this truck way, way back in the beginning when it may have had some issues, because let's face it, Team Associated did address those with the service pack and all that stuff. But I don't know, I'm loving this truck and I'm not a good driver either. I break a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Now I did write associated, if you guys remember in one of my last videos I had talked about, I had torn one of the tires. So I did write associated, we'll see what they say. Maybe they'll warranty it, maybe they'll not. All right, we're gonna try one more big jump. This is a 4,000, guys, by the way. So between the, just running it, the 6S system, 150 MPSC, but also running that big fan. Uh, I noticed that it doesn't run as long as it usually does, this pack. So I'm gonna kinda, I've been sort of taking it easy on it. I don't wanna bring it into LVC every time. <laughs> yeah. And I've also guys actually brought out the sledge. I don't know if I'm gonna run it though. It's friggin' hot out here. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, that's nice. Once again, guys, this thing is... All right. Wow, well, I almost hit the ramp. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop doing the same old, this thing's awesome, dudes, guys. But it is. It really is. And for everybody who picks up this truck now, because again, guys, this thing Canadian is 550. I paid four... Crap. 460? 430? for my MT-10 and whew, you know what guys disclosure here man full disclosure I would not have bought the MT-10 I was expecting this thing to be an absolute disaster and that I'd always be working on it and modding it so the MT-10 was kind of the safe bet I mean don't get me wrong guys I like the MT-10 too but this is a lot more fun Oh, oh, how did I manage that? All right, that's the second time I've done it. But, luckily enough, with the KCRC ramp, <laughs> because it is on an angle here, it doesn't seem to... Uh, even though my body looks a little funky right now. Oh, I think it's just stuck under the lights. Yeah. That's all it is. There we go. Phew. <laughs> Usually when you're seeing your, your body sit like that, that's not a good sign, but that's all it was. <laughs> I had to do that. And I think too, guys, because I have the ramp down a little bit more, this is now sitting a little bit more in an angle too, which is probably helping. Oh. This truck behaves very different in the grass. With both the stock tires and these, uh, okay, what are they again? Uphills, the Wees RC ST uphills. One last jump. And this is when I usually break it. Oh, 
Oh, that was nice, guys. Did you see that control? Oh, I love it. Guys, this is awesome. <laughs>